ProMotion NG contains a simple system to automatically create animations based on 3D texture mapping where you can apply movements and rotation. As an example on how it can help you create basic animations, we want to let a coin rotate around its vertical axis. First, we pick up the coin as a brush. In Menu Animation, you can find a function called Create 3D Animation. It opens a dialog that lets you enter positions of the current brush in a 3D space coordinate system. On the left side, you enter position and rotation definitions of the brush image for the first frame of the animation, and on the right side, you enter the respective values for the last frame. The animation is then created by transforming the position and rotation over the given frames. In our case, we don't want to apply a movement, but only a simple rotation to the coin. We don't actually generate a 360 degree rotation. This is not really required, because the rotation frame would look the same after one turn on 180 degrees. We don't even use 90%, but 85% in our case, and let the rendering use 5 frames overall. Now the first part of the animation is rendered, and if we use the ping pong playback, then the coin would already animate the way we want. We can now manually improve the results a bit on a pixel level. Because we don't want a ping pong playback to be used, but rather an endless spin rotation as forward playback, we leave the frames 1 and 5 as they are, and copy frames 2 to 4 to the end of the animation. We also need to reverse them. Now the forward looped playback shows an endless rotation of the coin. To do some more improvement, we add a light effect so that the coin becomes brighter when turning to the light source and when the backside starts to show, then to look darker, first turning to standard brightness with every frame. For this we use the multi-shade paint mode along with two gradients. Find out more about this in a separate video that you can find a link to in the description. We can tweak the speed, and when done, we crop the animation to its minimum pixel size. There we have our final rotating coin. Thanks for watching.